Stuart Onan's novel, Last Night at the Lobster, a national bestseller, was nominated for the Los Angeles Times Book Prize and named one of the New York Public Library books to remember. Onan has written 11 novels along with a story collection and two nonfiction works. Last Night at the Lobster takes place over a single day December 20 at a Red Lobster in a small town in Connecticut. The novel is told from the point of view of Manny Dillon, general manager of Red Lobster. Manny has been forced by corporate headquarters to close his branch. The novel gives a minute by minute account of the last shift at the restaurant. Tomorrow, Manny is being transferred to an olive garden nearby. He is allowed to take four of his 44 employees with him, but the rest are being laid off or have already quit. Manny is determined to make their last day together meaningful, even if a snowstorm is driving business and the remaining employees away. He knows it is futile and a little silly, but he can't help but hope that his customers will see what he sees in the restaurant, that it is a beautiful, fine place. He is strangely proud when he passes an elderly couple's table and notices their clean plates. The novel covers the typical, somewhat mundane events of the food industry. Vomit on the restaurant carpet, an office party, and the daily visit of Manny's high school wrestling coach. It also covers somewhat unusual events. Manny's coat is mysteriously slashed, and he discovers holes punched in his windshield. The novel is full of examples of Manny's devotion to his place of employment and how deeply he cares for the place. One of his employees, Eddie, whom he selected to go with him to Olive Garden, is disabled and on leg crutches. Although Manny realizes he is not the best worker, he can't bear the thought of leaving Eddie behind to fend for himself. Amidst his emotions of the restaurant closing, Manny is also dwelling on an old relationship. Jackie, who works in the restaurant alongside him. Although Manny is in a relationship with a new woman, Dina, who is also pregnant with his child, Manny can't seem to let go of Jackie. Manny believes that with the restaurant closing, there will come a romantic gesture, a last sweeping farewell, a declaration of love. He wants to make a declaration to her, but instead, watches her as she walks out of the door for the last time. Meanwhile, he is facing low-level insubordination from the few staff members that manage to show up. Manny stops his bartender from smuggling out bottles of expensive alcohol. He then gives everyone a drink on the house. A waitress who is not offered a place at Red Lobster uses expletives as she leaves her last shift, despite the fact that Manny had her back with angry customers earlier. In between this, he struggles to keep the sidewalks clear of snow and agonizes while waiting for the snowplow to clear the parking lot. A customer, learning of the restaurant's closure, wants to buy special offer lighthouse glasses. Jackie searches for them while Manny helps. His thoughts are full of her their past secret escapades in the storeroom, how much he loves her, how he can't seem to feel that way about Dina. The night is winding down, and Manny is preparing for the next day where he will show up at the empty restaurant, explain its closure to any customers who show up and offer them discount cards. Before she leaves, Jackie returns a piece of jewelry he had bought her. As Manny heads home for the night, he realizes he's hungry. He considers heading to Wendy's, but debates with himself he is already overweight, and besides, they may not even be open in the blizzard. Not everyone is as hardworking as Manny. He ultimately heads straight home, reflecting that he has to make it in early tomorrow. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.